Hey, welcome back to the channel. This is just a quick how-to video. I'm gonna show you how to make a pitcher of iced tea that is, well, pretty darn good. So the one of the first things I do is I take my kettle and I just fill it up, eh, mostly with water, all the way to the top. You need to allow a little space for expansion for steam to build. But you fill that up almost to the top, put your lid on. Light up your stove, whatever it may be. Ours happens to be gas and you have at it. So I'm just using one of these standard, I guess it's a four liter, half gallon, or no, excuse me, one gallon uh, jug. Gosh, we've had these things forever. I guess, oops, yeah, Rubbermaid. So, you know, you can pick them up at your favorite local store. And then six regular Lipton tea bags. I used to make tea, I guess, strong. And Tina had commented a while back that our tea tastes very strong and it's very dark compared to some of the, like, I don't know, McAllister's teas where it was a little clearer looking and it had a better taste. So I cut this back from eight to six. So for a gallon of iced tea, uh, of course you'll suit this to taste, but I put in, for a gallon, I put in about, hmm, what's that, one third? So maybe about uh, almost two thirds a cup. So I guess it would be probably closer to a half a cup of sugar per one gallon of iced tea that I plan to make. Next, I go ahead and I get just regular tap water, very hot, get it as hot as it, it'll get. And I go ahead and I dilute and start stirring this iced tea, or excuse me, this um, sugar solution. And the reason I do that, and I don't know if these plastic containers are suspect, but you hear about, I guess, the harmful chemicals, maybe they can be put off by some plastics, uh, especially if you expose them to very hot water. So what I don't want to do is pour hot water directly into the uh, container. Next, I take my six tea bags, I pull off all of the Lipton logos, Okay, I just tie them up real quick. Like so. I take my little stirring, stirrer, <laughs> and I just dip this in there, the tea bags in there, just to get them started, get them sucked, get them wet, get them soaked. And then I just hang this, I let it sit there until my water's done. So you don't add a lot of water, but just to give you an idea, this is what, maybe three fingers high. And so that's, again, it's just hot water with the sugar already dissolved in it. And my little teapot is steaming bad. So we'll kill the, kill the flame. Make sure it's not too hot to touch. Lift her open. Now we just simply move this out of the way, pour the hot water in, mixing with the hot water from the tap. All right, it's pretty near full. Now we just dip this in. And go ahead and give it a stir, get things mixed up. And we'll let that brew for about five to six minutes. So it's been a few minutes. Let's give it another stir and just check. Sometimes depending on how hot the water gets, the, uh, the brew time may be shorter. Um, this is looking pretty good. This was just maybe a tad under five minutes. So, so we'll give it another minute. All right, so another minute's come and gone. So I think we're gonna call it good. Just 
give it a good stir for good measure. So I'll just tap it, make sure that's not dripping all over the place. Tina will get mad at me if I leave spots on the floor. And there you go. Put your lid on. I leave the vent open to let the heat come out. And then I'll put this in the fridge, let it start cooling down, and this will be ready for dinner. And then a few hours later, once it's nice and chilled, you have some fresh iced tea. Well, there you go. Cheers.